So I have really bad vision and if my glasses suddenly appear on my face during this video, it's because I can't see and I, I'm trying, uh, yeah, so if you see these like all of a sudden go on my face, it's just because I didn't wear my contacts and I can't see, so mm. let's get right on to the video guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Kaylin, again. Did I do that in order? I don't even know. But today we will be doing the how to make slime in a bottle DIY. And um, I saw this idea on Macaroon's channel, and so I thought it was super creative. Did I just say creative? Anyway, I thought it was super creative and cool, and I really wanted to test it out and see if it really works or not. And so, um, yeah, so let's start, guys. So obviously, I have two different bottles here. Um, this is just like a smooth bottle because the slime probably wouldn't stick on to it as much, if that makes sense. And then this is like a really textured bottle, if you can see. I cleaned them both out, so that's why they're still a little bit wet. But um, yeah, so basically this DIY is you pour in a certain amount of glue and a certain amount of borax or like your activating solution and stuff into the bottle, you shake it, and it's slime, and it's ready, and it's perfect, so really excited to test it out, and let's get on with it. Okay, guys. So a couple things you'll need for this DIY is some glue. I'm using Crazy Art glue. Um, as long as it's PVA glue, it doesn't really matter, so Elmer's Crazy Art doesn't really matter, but um, yeah. And then you... I can't speak, guys. I can't even right now. Okay, so... Then you also need some food coloring. This is optional, obviously. Then you're gonna need some activator. I just have some borax inside that little cup over there. So I'll be like spooning it inside. And you'll need some bottles and a permanent marker, or maybe just a marker in general. So um, yeah, let's get started. I've already said that like five times, but anyway. So first you are going to measure with like two of your fingers. So like that much glue. Let me shift this a bit. Okay, there you go. So, let's see. I'm just gonna mark it real quick. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, guys, also comment down below if you guys like the smell of Sharpie. I'm personally not a big fan of it. Okay, so yeah, so you basically take your first two fingers like this, and then you kind of measure it. Obviously, it's not perfect, and then you take your pinky, and then, wow, this is really off. No, it's not really off, but um, yeah, and then that's how you know. So this part is the glue, and then this part is the borax area. So we're going to commence the pouring of the glue, y'all. Let's go ahead and pour this in, and when it reaches the line, we will know. Can you guys see this? Okay. So if you want to make more slime, just use like a bigger bottle, but this is like a bottle that I just had, so. You can also add water. Okay, so I think we're Gucci, or good, I don't even know, does anybody use the word Gucci? No! End! Okay. Sorry guys. <laughs> and then we're going to add our borax or baking soda and conic solution. Um, while I'm doing this guys, don't forget to check out Macaroon's channel. Joanna is such a nice, sweet person and she has a great channel. Her videos are so aesthetically pleasing. I love her videos. I probably should have gotten a funnel. It's fine. I'm worried about this being a little bit too much activator because I have like a pretty strong activating solution. So I'm going to put slightly under the line and um, I'll shake it up and see if that activates because yeah, we'll just see. I can always add some more activators so let's hope this doesn't go, oh wait no, we have to add food color. Y'all, I am not prepared for this. Okay, what color should we make? I don't, I don't know. Yellow? Mmm, I kind of want to go pink. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to add pink just because. I'm just going to add one drop of food coloring since it's not that much glue. Okay, and let's do this. Make sure this is tightly sealed because you don't want this going everywhere. Hopefully this doesn't go everywhere. Whoa, that's a lot redder than I thought it would be. So just, is it leaking? Okay, I don't think so. So we're just going to shake it. 
and hopefully it starts activating. Where are we at? Okay, I might have added too much activator, but we'll see. We'll just continue shaking. Oh yeah, I think I definitely added too much activator. Can you guys see that? Oh man, okay, we're gonna have to start over, but I'm just gonna keep on going and see what happens. So far it's not leaking, so I think if you had the right proportions, then this definitely would have worked, but as you can see, I added way too much activator, and so it turned into this mess e thingy. Oh no, okay, well, just for kicks, let's pour it out and see, ew, okay, do I have like a, yeah, this definitely isn't good, here, let's start over real quick, okay, this is definitely over boraxed, Ugh. okay, let's try again, alright, I'm back, I rinsed out the bottle, there's still some like slime on there that won't come off, because it's like so deep and I don't have anything to get down there, but um, Let's go over the things that probably went wrong. I just realized it's like a random foam bead. Anyway, so first of all, I probably, my borax solution was way too strong, so I, I went ahead and diluted my borax solution. And um, let's see what happens next, because I honestly do think it's just because it was over boraxed. So I'm also going to try adding a little bit less borax solution and see what happens. Again, guys, I'm sorry for the um, glue that I couldn't get out. Oh no, I think I'm running out of glue. There's like, it's not really coming out a lot anymore. <sighs> we made to dilute it with some water, make some jiggly kind of slime. All right, it's gonna be pouring for a while, so I'll come back when I'm finished. All right, so I filled up a little bit of water in here, so to get out the excess glue. All right, so let's see if that reaches the line. Yeah, that, that pretty much reaches the line. And then we are going to put, wait, uh, no, uh, sorry. Okay, so we are now going to put our borax solution in there. This is a lot more diluted, so hopefully it's okay now. Again, you should probably use a funnel for this part, but I'm unprofessional and um, I didn't really use a funnel this time. Okay, so I'm kind of nervous, and I'm hoping that doesn't over borax, because that was quite a bit of borax for such a little amount of glue, so I hope I didn't over borax it again, because I'm kind of running out of glue. Okay, so let's try it now. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Okay. Please don't over borax. I think we over boraxed it again, guys. No! I think I added way too much borax again. Okay, well, let's just pour or touch it at least. Ew, okay, yeah, so it's really over borax. But instead of starting over, I'm going to try to put a bit of water and lotion in here and see if it works. Already added water, let's add some lotion. <laughs> If the lotion would decide to come out. Okay, let's try again. Nope. All right. Let's try one more time. Oh, there you go. Okay, so we're going to try to mix that together and see if it creates an okay slime. I don't even know if, if this, this is successful. Obviously, this is probably my fault for this failing so badly. But let's just try and shake and see what happens. I'll come back when I'm finished shaking, I guess. Okay, so I might make a part two, depending on if this works or not. But um, I'm shaking it, and it's not sloshing as much anymore. So I think that it's not as over borax. But I don't think it's slime right now. But just to test it, let's open the bottle. Oh, that little piece was slime. Hang on. Please be slime. Okay guys, so this is definitely in some way slime. It's a bit sticky, but I'm kind of nervous to add borax because of what happened the past two times. 
but I'm gonna add some borax and see what happens. So according to Joanna, when it starts to like kind of roll around in a clump and not stick so much, that's how you know when it's ready. So I'm gonna put a little bit more borax in there because it's not quite at that point, but it's not like sloshing around like liquid, so. But honestly, I think that if you were more careful than me and you had like a kind of weaker borax solution, this would definitely work because it definitely makes sense. And I'm probably gonna make a part two because this is actually really fun to film. So watch out for that. Hello. Okay, let's touch it. You guys, that's actually like kind of ready. Okay, we're gonna add one more little spoonful of borax and hopefully that's enough. All right, let's try it out. Do you guys hear that? I mean, it's all white, so I'm not sure if you can really see it, but that kind of sounds like it's coming together. All right, so I'm gonna pour out just a little bit and see what's up. Okay, that looks like really like, it looks like slime. You guys, oh, this, you guys, this is like actually slime. It's sticky, but it's probably because it doesn't have enough borax, but look at that. You guys, this is actually slime. Wow, okay, let me try to pour the rest of it out. We might have to add some extra borax, but that's fine. I, I Wow, this actually worked, even though I messed up so bad. All right super thick so I don't know how long it's gonna take to pour out but it's definitely pouring out now which I'm really happy about so we have a little bit of an issue because when I'm trying to get the slime out some of the slime is sticking to the sides of the bottle and I'm trying to get it all out and add a little bit more activator so hopefully the slime in there can cling to each other because that's a lot of slime wasted if it's stuck on the bottle so I'm trying to get it to, you know, unstick, if you can see. So I'm really not sure why the slime is still sticking to the sides of the container. I'm thinking it's really just the plastic, like the type of plastic it is. What is that? Oh, those are just the markies, the, the markies, the Sharpie marks. But um, I really don't know why it's continuing to stick inside. I think it's honestly just because of the plastic material, like the kind of plastic it's made out of. So this definitely isn't the DIY's own fault. But in my conclusion, it does work, but you just wanna make sure of a couple of things. One, try to get like a smoother bottle, cause I imagine with the bottles with ridges, it would probably get stuck as well. Anyway, so if you can see, there's still a bunch of slime left in there. Which, you know, you can just let it drain out over time, I guess, if you have enough time to do that. By the way, guys, thank you for sticking around, because I know this video is kind of on the long side. So, if you made it this far, comment, comment, um, sticky dolphins. I really don't know why, but just to see if you made it this long, comment down below, sticky dolphins. Um... Yeah, so I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to get the rest of the slime out, but definitely tried. So I'll just show you the slime that we have right now, and maybe I'll update you guys in the comments if I got the rest of the slime out of the bottle. So it's time for... Sorry guys, that was really weird. My camera just like cut off or like my phone died or something. I really don't know what happened. But anyway, here is as much slime as we get out. There's still a bunch of slime in here, but um, this is as much slime as we can get out, so I will do some ASMR for you. This is a very obviously jiggly slime just because I overboraxed it and I added in a bunch of water to help, I don't know, dissolve the glue again. But, oh my goodness, pet peeve right there. I'm sorry. Okay, wait, okay, there you go. Okay. By the way, guys, almost back to school. How you guys feeling? I'm feeling kind of anxious, nervous. 
But um, yeah. So anyway, that, that was it for this video. I hope you guys will come back and see me again. I will be posting a little bit more videos still, not really on a posting schedule, but um, yeah, so this is basically the end of the video. You can stick around for like a couple more seconds of ASMR, but that's it. Peace out. Here's the ASMR, y'all. That was a fail. For all the people who said I don't pop bubbles, there's some bubble popping for you. Bye guys, see you next time.